So welcome back to Couch Collectibles. Let's just hop right into it and start off first here with an older coin. Now we are going to be getting into more modern coins here as the video goes, but this is a 1920 Buffalo nickel. Looks normal on the front. Here on the reverse of the coin, you'll see it has a large die break there at the bottom of the coin, covering up the words five cents. That extra metal on the rim is a die break there, and it's also referred to as a cud. So cud, die break, same difference. Now this coin sold as is on eBay for $159. So if you guys have old coins, inherit an old coin collection, you know, always look for these little things that can add a lot of value to your coins. All right, now next up is a 1944 wheat penny. So on the reverse of the coin looks pretty normal, but here on the obverse, you'll see that this also has a die break. Now that is at the bottom of the coin as well. The coin is circulated, not in the best condition by any means. Uh, on the reverse side, you will see the lettering faded out as a result of that die break. Um, so this coin ended up selling for $115 ungraded as is. So not too bad for an old wheat penny. Now here is a 1964 Lincoln cent. Now this penny here obviously has been double struck. So the coin sold for over $150 ungraded as is, um, but pretty obvious type of mint error, right? So uh, things like this, uh, you're not finding in everyday pocket change. All right, now here is a 1969 Lincoln cent that sold for $147. Now it has a die clash. So if we look at this image from PCGS TrueView, now PCGS, uh, when you grade coins from them, you can select the TrueView option. I do it on my coins on certain ones that I want to have high quality images of. Now this does a real good job of showing at this image here. So you can see the uh, pillars and the reverse design here coming through here on the obverse of the coin. Um, so that is a clashed die, die clash. And then you'll see the outline of Lincoln here on the reverse of the coin as well. Uh, PG's gold and coin sold these sold this coin on eBay for $147. Graded at immense state 64. So condition matters as well. But let's move on here to a 1978 Washington quarter. Now this coin here was struck onto a one cent planchet. So this coin is graded by NGC at a Mint State 64 Brown. And this coin ended up selling for $710 on eBay. So we have a Washington quarter design that was struck onto a penny planchet. So that's why it's got the copper coloration to it. Uh, 3.1 gram penny planchet from the 70s over $700. Now let's move on to a 1986 Lincoln cent. So this coin here has a mint error. It has a partial plating mint error. Graded by NGC at a mint state 65, the coin sold for nearly $300 at auction. 1986 penny worth $300. Not too bad. Now here is a coin that was ungraded, so uh, looks like a normal penny here on the reverse of the coin. Here on the front, the 1990 Lincoln cent, it has that die break. You'll see that the die break on this coin is up in the uh, top right of the coin covering up the word trust. And this coin sold for $90 as is. So typically the larger the die break, the more that it covers the coin, the more that it's going to sell for it. Also depends on, you know, what coin is the die break on? What date is the coin? How rare is the coin? Things like that. Uh, you know, how common is it to have a die break on a 1990 penny? Things like that will all affect the value and of course it's condition or grade. So 90 bucks for one cent. Now here's a 2001 Lincoln cent that sold for $224 because the coin was struck 15% off center. Does have a nice grade of a mint state 66 red by NGC as well. So off center errors you can look for on all kinds of different coins, not just pennies. Now we're getting more modern here. We have a 2022 Washington quarter here that has a die chip on the nose. This is the Wilma Man Killer quarter. Yeah, that's a nice die chip, a really large die chip right there on Washington's nose. So always look out for those because this coin sold for $89 on eBay. 89 bucks for 25 cents ungraded. Can't beat that. Now here's another 2022 quarter, uh, but this is actually the uh, Sally Ride quarter. So there's different uh, women that will be featured on the reverse of these quarters uh, for 2022. 
and uh, you'll see that it has a dye clash. So if we look at the lines here to the left of Sally's hair and shoulder going up there, and then also over here by the lettering, uh, e pluribus unum, uh, you'll see that. Now that is the lines from the obverse design of the coin. So that is a die clash. Something really easy to pass up on a coin like this with uh, the type of design that it has. Uh, but this coin sold as is for $41 uh, just with that little die clash. So can't beat turning 25 cents into 40 bucks. Could you imagine finding a whole roll of these quarters like that? Man, that'd be nice. Now here is a 2022 Lincoln cent. You'll see here on the reverse, looks pretty normal. Here on the obverse, you'll see that it has that die clash. So we've looked at die clash on other Lincoln cents uh, just a second ago in this video, right? But this is on a 2022 penny that has a different reverse. So you'll see that reverse coming through here on the obverse of the coin. You can actually see the UNU down here by the date 2022 uh, from the reverse. So that is pretty cool. Uh, you know, always pay attention to your coins because even modern coins uh, can have errors like this. This penny ended up selling for over $40 at auction, $42 to be exact. So 42 bucks for one cent, I wouldn't be complaining again, especially if I found quite a few of them. Uh, but you know, when it comes to modern coins like this on eBay, they go for really good prices at first until a lot of people start finding them and then they become more common and then the values drop on those drastically. So I wouldn't recommend buying them, you know, right when they come out, you know, like the die chips and die clashes and things like that, because there's probably going to be more of them uh, found like, but right when they get released, people go crazy, start selling them for big money. Uh, now, I would sell it for big money at first, but not buy it for big money. You know, wait for the prices to go down. But here is a Jefferson nickel, you know, that has a very large cud die break here uh, on the right side of the coin covering up the date. So we will not have a date for this coin. The coin's in pretty rough shape, but uh, it still sold for $91 at auction all because of that die break. So again, always pay attention to your coins in your pocket change or when you're hunting coin roll hunting from the bank, or even if you inherit coin collections, you know, inspect those closely. So I do have an affiliate Amazon link down below in the comments below and in the description of this video where you guys can go get a microscope, uh, coin microscope, coin scales, all coin collecting supplies, and anything that you don't find on there on my Amazon affiliate store, you can find on couchcollectibles.com. That's where all my coin roll hunting mats are. So, all right, guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Feel free to check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.